Hello everyone. Welcome to my home art studio in Niwot, Colorado. I'm Nancy Champion and in this video I will be sharing my art process of dimensional painting of maroon bells. My art journey began in childhood. I fell in love with art and I grew up to be an art teacher. I had a long art teaching career in recreational programs and public schools. I participated in lots of art organizations and artists run at galleries. I painted mostly with watercolor and when I retired, I moved into painting with acrylic. I took workshops from many artists and learned many art techniques and I developed my own painting style, which I call dimensional painting. I create a rich textured surface using spackle paste and then I paint layers of acrylic paint over the textures. All my landscapes, including this one, start with a trip to the place. Colorado dog walks, hikes, travel inspire my landscapes. My goal of landscape painting is to give you the feel of place. When I painted the Maroon Bells landscape, it was early in the pandemic, and this wonderful landscape gave me a great art escape. It took me back to the time we visited the Maroon Bells area. Several years ago, we traveled to the Maroon Bells in midsummer. We set the alarm clock wrong and arrived in the dark. It was so cold, we had to wrap up in our warm coats. It was dark, but as the sun rose, the landscape magically appears. The textures, the depth, the color, the contrast. You have warm colors in the background that are hit first by the sun. And then you have the valley revealed and the beautiful reflections in the lake and then the lake and the wonderful sparkly water. You have the bright foliage and the rustle of the beautiful aspen trees. The beautiful rocks, darks and lights of the rocks and the old logs in the water. In this video, I will share my art process in seven steps. Here are my process steps. Plan, sketch and enlarge, texture and sculpt, underpainting, no tan, palette, and paint, sparkle, and shine. Plan. All of my paintings start with a trip to the place. Using memories and photo references, I create a small sketch, a doodle, usually with a black ink pen. Next, I use the computer to enhance the photo references, saturate the colors, crop the edges, and I view them in my art studio on the computer. Painting from the computer screen is similar to plein air. I can use the computer to view several photos and zoom in. Sketch and enlarge. Using a watercolor pencil, I sketch the composition on stretched canvas. I use a ruler to enlarge and establish the sky, the land, and foreground. I wet the lines of the watercolor pencil drawing to see it more clearly. I step back frequently to view the results. A damp cloth erases the lines. Texture and Sculpt. Using recycled lightweight cardboard, I cut out stencils I'll use for rocks, mountains, trees, and sticks. I select other stencils, including old greeting cards, 
plastic placemats with cutouts that I will use. Next, I gather several different plastic palette knives, shapers, combs, old paintbrushes, and the stencils and sculpt the composition, usually starting from the top and focusing on the center of interest of the composition. I work in thin layers, applying texture using spackle paste to create edges and to reveal mountains, rocks, sticks, and trees. I press this flexible spackle paste into the canvas surface. It hardens quickly and dries in about 30 minutes, so it is easy to apply multiple layers if needed. I remove it from my art tools with wet paper towels before it hardens. I let the textured canvas dry overnight. The next day, I review the texture, quickly sand off sharp peaks, and brush off loose dry paste from the surface using a large paintbrush. Then I apply more spackle if needed, and I let it dry. I refine the edges and carve details using old dental tools. Underpainting. I select a warm color to paint the underlayer, usually orange, sometimes red, magenta or yellow, or a combination of warm colors. This layer is allowed to show through in some places all around the composition to unify the piece. I apply it using a large stiff brush that paints the surface completely in all the textured areas. No tan, playing with lights and darks. Using only dark purple, I establish all the dark areas and reveal the textured surface of the composition. Lightly brushing the surface establishes middle tones. Completely covering areas establishes dark tones and not painting areas establishes the lighter areas in the painting. Then I let it dry. Palette and paint. Using small plastic cups, I premix colors for large areas in the painting, like the sky and a green color for foliage, but in sort of medium tones and maybe the color for the ground. I prefer matte medium to add to paints and frequently spray them with a little water. During the painting process, I frequently step back to view the progress, dancing in front of the easel. Next, I paint the middle tones and focus on the center of interest, working all around the painting. I use color to circulate the eye around the composition. I use a variety of tools and techniques to paint the surface, brushes, sponges, palette knives, stencils, old toothbrushes. I use tape and cardboard to mask areas and create edges. I paint the edges along with the front surface of the canvas and view the edges as part of the painting. Sparkle and shine. Lastly, I enhance the composition with whites and brights to lead the viewer through the composition and reveal the focus of the work or the center of interest. I usually view the painting several days and tweak it as needed. During the painting process, I take photos of the progress. Next, we will view the time-lapse video of me creating the painting. 